Hello guys, this is Stephen Conradi here, and I'm starting to do some album reviews of my favorite uh, Japanese rock and Visual K influenced and, and, uh, and Visual K uh, albums. Uh, mostly, you know, these are, a lot of these are just some of my favorite bands that I like to still listen to. Uh, most of my band, most of the bands that I've listened to, you know, uh, when it comes to Visual K, uh, basically those bands, a lot of the, those bands are now disbanded off or either that or they're still going, but they've somehow faded off into obscurity. And so, um, so I'm going to call these series of videos, um, this is just a Nostalgia K review. Um, I originally wanted to do like a podcast type thing, but um, I hadn't had time to mess around or hook up my uh, hook up my uh, audio interface, which I do need to get that done. But I'm going to start doing these off from my phone for a little bit, and then. Once um, I can get a better camera, better equipment, then I'll start shooting from my apartment like normal. So I did one vi I did post one video. I know it was kind of long, um, <laughs> talking about uh, Lacroix McChristy because I had uh, received some products in from them, or I ordered some a songbook and I ordered a CD. Um, the songbook was to the, is to the album Lhasa, uh, which I don't have here at my apartment. It's not it's back at my folks' place or whatever. But uh, it's an album that I like, you know, uh, generally, you know, hold in high esteem or high regard. Um, and. Uh, it was kind of cool to find a band score on that album. I didn't think I thought that was kind of rare to see something like that. But uh, anywho, um, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, so I'll be doing a number of reviews, uh, starting with "Deep Space Syndicate" by Lacrima Christie, and then follow those reviews on and for on, onward. Um, I ordered some, some more albums. They're supposed to be coming in, uh, via eBay or from eBay via USPS, um, uh, probably within maybe the next couple weeks or so. So I don't know if it's going to be by the end of this month or the beginning of April, um, uh, that I'll be posting more reviews. So I've got some pretty cool albums in store that'll be coming up eventually. Uh, you know, you know, you'll get to hear the gist of what I think of these albums. I don't know if my opinion really matters, but <laughs> I have been a fan of Visual K for a very long time. And, uh, uh, I, even though I don't listen to it, I don't engage in, uh, the current VK scene. I'm way past that shit. Um, I still admire the old VK scene and, and the older art, the artists that were, came before, uh, these newer bands that just kind of infiltrated the scene now. Um... So I, you know, I, I appreciate these, I appreciate bands like Lunacy and Larkin Sale that are somehow still holding it up after all these years, um, you know, and uh, those are the one of the two, those are the two bands I think that I come, that can, I can think of that come to my knowledge that are still going. Um... You know, there's always also been that huge joke with X Japan. Whenever, when are they going to release a new album? Pretty much never. Um, it's just this 
ever-lasting, revolving meme that goes around Facebook or all over the internet about Yoshiki. So, anywho, I mean, I thought, honestly, yeah, it's... Uh, okay, let me let me just tell you this. I'll save my opinions on X Japan for a later video. But you know, you have point. My point of the matter, point I'm trying to make is, is that these bands, some of them are still going, and then all of them, some others have not. You know, they've they've quit. They've kind of thrown in the towel. They've learned when to say no. They're they. And they've gone on to other projects or different thing, various things. And some have just decided not to participate in the music business entirely. They, they pretty much just want to live uh, a normal life. Um, aside from their fame that they had as, you know, with a, a Japanese, with an, a, a, a nationwide famous act. But, um, I come from the background of, uh, gosh, GACT was like my first, uh, exposure to, well, he was my first exposure to Visual K music. Um, without GACT, I, I would not have known about all these fantastic bands and fantastic musicians or or known Japanese rock for that matter, um, I'd probably still be listening to 80s glam metal, which I still love. I love 80s glam metal, don't get me wrong. But, you know, there comes in ti a time and a place for things like that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to start this uh, portion of my channel. Uh, who knows, eventually, if I can get more viewers... Uh, and the more viewers that I get, and then I could start up a Patreon, and from Patreon to something else, who knows where the future holds. So, yeah, I my opinions a lot of times are slight. They're going to be slightly biased. Um, you have to forgive me because earlier on in my in my some of my reviews. It's going to take me a little bit of time to kind of come up with my own formula of, of how I want to do this or how I want to review. I think it's just the growing process that one has to learn. <laughs> and of course, I know, I already know a thing or two about video cameras and all that jazz, but um, anywho, it's too early for me. I just got off work <laughs> and uh, I'm about ready to get ready for bed so uh, but yeah uh, just let me know in the comments of uh, maybe there's a Visual K band uh, an album that you hold near and dear to your heart that you would like for me to review um, if so just uh, you can send me an email uh, I'll probably post my email somewhere on this uh, tag for this video, just email those videos to, or email those uh, email me your information, and then we can exchange it prop properly, and uh, I can listen to some you know some music and uh, give you an honest review of what I think. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm more of the I come pretty much mainly from the background of, you know, old Visual K is best. You know, the older Japanese music, the 90s Visual K, that's pretty much the high point of VK is from when it started because it, it just, it was a, a major wave that just continued on. It did not stop. Unlike America, where we had... We went through this, uh, you know, of course we had the 80s hair metal uh, thing that just went on until maybe about 1990, 91 is when, when it completely stopped. 92, actually 1992 is when it completely stopped and faded, faded off. 
and uh, then you had grunge that just exploded from 92 to about uh, 95 or so, uh, or 96, and then from 96 on, you had, you know, uh, the Brit pop scene, 96 to like 97, or 95 to 97, you had the Brit pop scene, and then from 98 till... I'd say 2001 or 2002, you had the whole boy band movement. And uh, it's just ridiculous how many, how many transitions that we, you know, have gone through also as a nation musically. As opposed to Japan, they're still doing visual K, but it's totally irrelevant at this point. I think so. Uh, I think it's time for them to do something different, try something new. It would be good for them to, you know, maybe uh, experiment in different other in other areas. And I think there's, you know, just like kind of like how with the United States we have all this independent music that's booming thanks to, uh, you know digital audio software and audio interfaces in the internet. Um, uh, we have all, all this music that's been at, at our fingertips and yet, you know, I mean, maybe there's some bands here that just don't get Known, there's a lot of music that's just out there. It's a plethora of, of exploration. So I tend to uh, kind of be that the uh, you know go on this journey and uh, of you know Japanese music, and hopefully you'll want to do that with me. If you like what you're seeing, please comment and subscribe. Um, I hope to do more uh, Visual K uh, reviews in the future. I know I'll be uh, doing some shortly. My next album that I'll be receiving probably in a few weeks is an album by Leluvia. Uh, some... Uh, band from the a short-lived band from the mid to late 90s um visual k band probably could be in their later era but uh i will probably get on to that next time but uh, uh if you like what you see go for it cheers folks peace bye